flying fish. Wow. This family pet was plucked from a remote corner of the Pacific by Faye Lambert's parents nearly 60 years ago. He needs a little help from furniture restorer Will to bring him out of retirement. You can see the what's happened. Oh, its no. tail snapped off, unfortunately. Oh, um, you don't happen to have... I'm sure that you would have bought it with you. I'm you afraid that's that. long gone. Right. It was bought on our way back from Australia, and I remember my mother coming down, waking my sister and me up and saying, come up on deck, because something quite exciting is happening. And the islanders were rowing out in their canoes from Pitcairn <laughs> Island, and they were selling their wares. Wow. I don't know if you've heard of Mutiny on the Bounty, yes. but um, this was probably carved by one of Fletcher Christian's descendants. The crew who mutinied on HMS Bounty in 1789 in the South Pacific settled on Pitcairn Island. The descendants live there to this day and carved flying fish like Faye's can fetch up to 200 pounds in good condition. Steve? Yeah? You haven't got a pair of calipers. Will's toughest test will be to make a seamless repair without the original piece of tail that's broken off, as it was carved from a tree that grows on the other side of the world, thousands of miles from the repair shop. So I've managed to find some wood that has a very similar colour and grain to the fish and hopefully I might have enough width on that to make up the missing part of the tail. <laughs> so what I'm looking for here, I mean, I have an overall decent colour match. A little bit of polish on that tail, and we are just in time, I think. We are really up against it today. Hello. So, are you ready? Yes, I am. Da, da, da. Oh, baby! My fish has got a tail. tail. Oh, it looks great. I yeah. actually managed to get the colour spot on. He's looking pretty smart. And he will go home and be put in pride of place. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. Thanks very much. For all that hard work. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.